Enrich your minds by having a deeper understanding of interesting places and scientific discoveries of Bible times. Explore the amazing facts of biblical history in How Authentic the Bible Is. The Bible Speaks. Mount Sinai is the mountain where God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. A major controversy among archaeologists and Bible historians has been raging for many decades, that is, as to where the real Mount Sinai is located. If we are ever to discern a correct location for the historical events, recorded in any biblical book it is important to use the bible as a guide in the new testament the apostle paul wrote in galatians chapter 4 verse 25 for this hagar is mount sinai in arabia paul is clearly saying that mount sinai is in arabia which has always been east and south of palestine the area of present-day Saudi Arabia. Also in Exodus chapter 3 verse 1, it states that Mount Sinai is in the ancient land of Midian. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God even to Horeb. This 8,000 feet mountain in Northwest Arabia is known on modern maps as Jebel El Laws. It was here that Moses first encountered God in the flaming bush. The site shows all the elements that should be at Mount Sinai. It encloses a plain where a million Israelites could have been camped with their flocks and herds for about a whole year. Other detailed discoveries include a scorched peak, Exodus 19.18 records, and Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire, and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked greatly. Another remarkable find was a massive split boulder with a clear evidence of water erosion mentioned in Exodus chapter 17 verse 6. Twelve wells at Elim mentioned in Exodus 15 27. Ancient obelisk with Hebrew inscriptions remains of the twelve pillars Moses erected and the altar mentioned in Exodus chapter 24 verse 4. Several items of pottery and rock drawings of cows. Additionally, the crossing area of the Gulf of Aqaba is more consistent with the scriptural account which describes it a crossing in deep waters. Remains of ancient chariots' wheels have also been found buried in the water and mud consistent with Pharaoh army's chariots swallowed by the waters. The Bible again has been shown to be true and reliable down to the smallest historical detail. Critics who claim that the Bible does not coincide with known history and geography are again shown to be wrong once the facts surface. The account in the Bible is accurate, a discovery that proves how authentic the Bible is.